God, if I sound horrible, it's because I'm sick, so, uh, my bad. I'm going to disrespect popular games in one sentence or less. In case this needs to be said, this video is in jest, so save the comment essays and let's have some fun. Also, I used the word disrespect, so come on. Sonic Frontiers. Sonic Frontiers is the worst open world Spider-Man game. The Last of Us. The Last of Us is a great film, but a shit video game. The Last of Us Part 2. While The Last of Us Part 2 has a controversial story, I thought it was interesting, it's definitely a better video game than the first one. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I'm gonna go for an easy one here. <sighs> I wish I had an ocarina so I can get the time I wasted back. Baldur's Gate 3. The vampire guy in Baldur's Gate 3, I'm not, even gonna, I'm not even gonna say his name, is not hot. I'm sorry. Kingdom Hearts 3. If Kingdom Hearts 3 did away with the Disney worlds, it would be 100% less of a slog. Uncharted 4, A Thief's End. My favorite part of Uncharted 4, A Thief's End was playing Crash Bandicoot in the beginning because I wasn't playing Uncharted 4. Resident Evil Village. Everyone bitches about why did Chris not tell Ethan this or that, but what makes this game drown is the fact that Chris doesn't even transform into a werewolf. 1 out of 5 game. Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles. Out of a trilogy of pretty good games, Sonic 3 and Knuckles is only saved by it being split into two parts because playing these games back to back is a slog. So thanks McDonald's. Metroid Dread. Metroid Dread is the Dark Souls of Metroid games. Sports games. The only monopoly everyone seems to not care about but hey you can get the newest NBA 2K for $20 during Black Friday. Super Mario Odyssey. Mario and Bowser not making out at the end of Super Mario Odyssey is by far the biggest fumble in gaming history. The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. $70 for a Nintendo Switch game. Five Nights at Freddy's. Five Nights at Freddy's understanding of a typical 9 to 5 is the equivalent of influencers pretending to have a retail job. Pokemon. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet were criticized for being glitchy and unoptimized for the console it was made for. But how can Pokemon fans hate glitches when missing no is the most popular thing about the franchise? Outlast. I um I actually like this game, so um we're gonna skip it. But Outlast 2. While visually stunning, Outlast 2's biggest blunder, among other things, is that it both criticizes religion while saying they're right at the end. It's not subversive, it's just bad writing. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more, smash that like button, we're bringing it back, and subscribe to the channel. I want to make this an ongoing series, so if there's games that you like, or if there are games that you like and want me to disrespect them, comment comment them down below. Lastly, I'd like to thank my patrons, Leo Crit, Retro Roy, and newcomer Hack13 for supporting the channel. And for $1 a month, your name can show up right here. We're two patrons away from forcing me to read Fifty Shades of Grey, the novel, and this will result in either a full review or a reading of a <sighs> spicy scene. Love you guys and shalomu.